Senegal has just taken a bold move to salvage their population that the Gambia never saw coming. Basaru Diomaye Fai and Usman Sonko have just blown away both the Senegalese and Gambian people with this one bold move that shows that they only and truly mean business. This bold move has sent shockwaves throughout the Gambian government that poses a challenge of seriousness from the two radical clear-headed young Senegalese leaders. This one move is solely meant for the betterment of the lives of the Senegalese people, which the Gambian government won't dare follow. But what's this one life-changing move from Usman Sonko and Basiru Diomaye Fai no one saw coming? Let's dive right in. The Republic of Senegal under the watchful eyes and leadership of two pro-pan-African young leaders in the name of Usman Sonko and Basiru Diomaye Fai have just put Senegal through a historic moment that will solve their communication surveillance problems. Senegal has marked a historic milestone with the successful launch of its first satellite from California on Friday evening. It has become one of just 12 African nations with their own surveillance and telecommunications satellites in space. But what is a communication satellite? A communication satellite is an artificial satellite that transmits and receives signals for communication over long distances. These signals can be used for television, telephone, internet, radio, and military applications. Communication satellites are independent systems in space that can provide their own power and maintain their orientation. They often have antennas that point towards Earth to facilitate communication between Earth stations. Communication satellites are often placed in geostationary orbits, which are 36,000 kilometers above the equator. This position allows the satellites to provide continuous coverage, and Earth stations only need to track the satellites to maintain their radio beams. This is highly important and it will go a long way in helping the Senegalese people to become self-sufficient in all forms of communication prospects. The country's president, Basiru Diomaye Faye, said the move marks a major step toward Senegal's technological sovereignty. The culmination of five years of determined effort by our engineers and technicians, this achievement marks a significant step toward our technological sovereignty, Faye said on X, expressing gratitude and pride to everyone who facilitated the project. Maram Kair, director of Senegal Space Agency, described the launch as an important step and a historic day in our country's progress and determination to become a spacefaring nation. The nanosatellite was launched into orbit, together with 115 others, from the Vandenberg base in California using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. It will be used to collect data for various state agencies, including those dealing with water resources, civil aviation, and meteorology. The satellite, popularly called Gandasat-1A, was conceived and manufactured by Senegalese engineers in association with Montpellier's French University Space Center, according to Senegalese radio and TV station RTS. The satellite will collect data for a range of state agencies, including the Water Resources Management and Planning Directorate, to help optimize nationwide resource allocation. In addition, it will gather information for the National Civil Aviation and Meteorology Agency to enhance weather forecasting and airstrip safety, RTS announced. What does this telecommunication satellite mean for Senegal? Let's explore this bold move by Senegal's young radical leaders, Basiru Diomaye Faye and Usman Sonko, who are extremely serious about national development. They are not messing about like the Gambian government. This is what we call a radical change in the making with lots more to come. This is a humble request to please like this video and subscribe to the African Pacific YouTube channel, a Gambian owned channel looking into the happenings of the motherland that are often ignored by mainstream media. Please show your support by liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. For starters, this is a major step forward in enhancing the country's technological capabilities. The satellite, named Game Day One, was launched as part of Senegal's broader effort to advance its digital infrastructure and improve communication networks. The satellite's launch aligns with Senegal's Digital 2025 strategy, which aims to bolster the nation's digital economy and position it as a leader in ICT, or Information and Communication Technology, in West Africa. This strategic move is expected to have far-reaching impacts on the country's communication services, including internet access, broadcasting, and telecommunication. One of the primary benefits of the new satellite is its potential to vastly improve internet penetration across the country. 
Currently, about 58% of Senegal's population has access to the internet, with significant disparities between urban and rural areas. Gainda One is poised to address this digital divide by providing high-speed internet coverage to remote and underserved regions. This improvement could push internet penetration rates above 75% within the next few years, enabling more Senegalese citizens to access digital services, education, and e-commerce opportunities. In addition to improving internet access, the satellite will enhance Senegal's telecommunication networks. Senegal has a growing mobile phone market with a penetration rate of around 106%, including multiple SIM card ownership. However, network quality and coverage remain inconsistent, especially in rural areas. Gain Day One will help telecom operators expand their coverage and provide more reliable and faster services, potentially increasing mobile broadband subscriptions, which currently stand at approximately 30% of the population. This enhancement is critical for the country's ongoing efforts to digitize services and expand mobile money platforms, which are crucial for financial inclusion. The launch of Gandhi One also represents a significant advancement in Senegal's broadcasting capabilities. With the satellite in place, the government plans to increase the reach of digital television services across the country. Currently, about 60% of households have access to digital TV, but with the satellite's additional capacity, this could rise to over 80% within a few years. This expansion will not only improve access to information and entertainment but also support the dissemination of educational content and government communication to even the most remote areas. Moreover, Gandhi One's launch is a catalyst for the growth of Senegal's space and technology sectors. By investing in satellite technology, Senegal is building a foundation for future technological advancements and positioning itself as a leader in space research and innovation in Africa. The satellite's successful deployment could attract more investments in technology and education, ultimately fostering a new generation of scientists, engineers, and technologists in the country. In the long term, these developments will contribute to economic growth, job creation, and the overall socioeconomic transformation of Senegal. Clearly, this speaks only one thing, which is the fact that legit transformation is going on in Senegal, leaving the Gambia trailing behind due to their lack of seriousness to national development. Having a clueless and unserious government is the worst thing that can happen to a nation which is not what is going on in Senegal, but in the Gambia, instead. It is high time that Gambia gets rid of old people occupying space for no reason, and wasting everybody's time, and creating space for the young ones to take the lead. After all, the older you get, the more mentally incapable you get, which is not what the Gambia needs at the moment. Kirama Pastef. This is a humble reminder to please like this video and subscribe to the African Pacific YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. In conclusion, leadership is all about agility, proactiveness, and dynamism, which is not found in the Gambian's old leadership era. It is only found with the young ones who can do lots more than the mentally dead grandpas can do. Proper consideration needs to be given to the young ones and let the old ones step aside. Until then, developing the Gambia will only be a thing we hear and not feel. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching and stay safe.